Hey guys, Kaz here. How you doing today? Hope you're doing well. I know I'm doing great. Hey guys, it's a beautiful day today and I thought I'd take advantage of the weather. It's early fall and it's a great day to be outside. As we know, the weather is going to be changing rather quickly here. And I thought today I'd take advantage of the time and make a video about blankets. You know, with fall being here and winter right around the corner, it's really going to be important to stay warm if you plan on bugging out this winter. So what I want to talk about, I have four blankets here in front of me. I want to talk about each one and explain the differences between each other. And maybe this will help you out if you're getting your bug out bag together. And hopefully it'll keep you warm. The first thing I want to talk about is the all season outdoor blanket. This is a very good blanket. It's really designed, in my opinion, more for spring, summer, and fall. And it's got a double layer on it. If you look on the back, it tells you that it's got a plastic film. The shiny stuff is aluminum. The, the green stuff is a, is a mesh strim. And there's a plastic film on top of that as well. So I'm gonna open this up real quick and I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like. And here is a great, a great shot of what it looks like. This explains the, the green part and this explains the silver part and it's got grommets on it. And there's several grommets throughout the blanket itself. This is great. I've actually done a video building a shelter with this. But for fall and winter, what this is really good for is perhaps if you're building a shelter, a debris shelter, you could use this to reinforce your roof. That would be excellent for this. Now, as you can see on the back, it's all green. And as you know, dark colors absorb warmth from the sun. So if you're going to use this in the wintertime, you want to have the dark side up. If you're going to use it in the summertime, you want to have the silver side up to reflect the heat. That way that you, you, your shelter won't get too warm during the summer months. But as far as winter goes, I would only use this to reinforce the roof. Um, you know, it does keep me warm in the spring, summer, and early fall. But in my opinion, it's not something that's going to be very worthwhile when cold temperatures are here. Next in line, I have a fleece blanket. In fact, this is called a polar fleece throw. This would be an upgrade, in my opinion, for an inside the shelter blanket. Obviously, this is not waterproof like this one is. So there are some advantages and disadvantages right there. This is not waterproof, that one is. But this is something that might keep you warmer because it's warmer against the skin. Whereas this is a little cumbersome when it comes to folding. This will actually mold right to your body and this will keep you warm. But on the downside, it will absorb water and it will get wet. Although these are real nice. An upgrade to the fleece would obviously be wool. This is a wool blanket and these come in various sizes and various weights, meaning the thickness. This one here is 100% wool, and it's approximately one eighth of an inch thick. Now this is a great blanket. This would be something that would be very good inside your shelter. You can lay on this, you can wrap up with this, and wool is very, very warm, even if it does get wet. The, the one great thing about wool is that it retains heat even if it gets wet, and that is so awesome with wool. Um, this is a, a great blanket. It's nice and large. I'm not going to unfurl it all the way, but you can see, you know, it's it's the width of my body, and you know, and you can see the width. So this is like about you know maybe a five by seven uh, size blanket because I'm I'm almost six feet tall. So this is probably a five foot by seven foot blanket, which is the exact same size that this is. But I would say that this is an upgrade to that, but this isn't so much waterproof like the all space, the all weather blanket is. And last but not least, I have a blanket here. And this is again about one eighth of an inch thick. But this here, this isn't all wool. This is a wool blend. This is a wool poly blanket. This will keep you warm. And if you compare the weight just a little bit, this one is slightly light, lighter, even though it's basically the same size. The, the advantage to it, you know, the weight, the disadvantage, 
it's a poly blend. I don't know if that's so much of a disadvantage, but these are some great blankets that you can use in the winter and fall, maybe late winter, early spring. All of these blankets will do good depending on what area of the country you live in and depending on your climate. I know for a fact that in my bug out bag, I need to have wool or some kind of a wool blanket because here in Michigan, it gets very cold in the winter. But anyway, I hope this video helps you out deciding what blanket is good for you. I'd like you to stay warm this year. I'll catch you later.